think the market has this completely confused. And in fact, I think they're using oil as the barometer for all the markets right now. And the oil situation is its own situation and really has nothing to do with the equity and fixed income market. As your prior guest said, the oil market is a pure fundamental supply demand market. We have too much oil in the system right now. It's not that the economy is slowing down and we're demanding less oil. In fact, demand continues to grow for oil. We're just producing too much of it, so we have to find a place to put it. We've used all the reasonably priced storage in the world so far, and now we're having to price in the more expensive storage. How do you price in the more expensive storage? You lower the front end of oil, and you keep the back end where it is, and the market will allow you to price in the storage. So in the absence of transparency or understanding of what's happening in the wider global economy, people are jumping as oil, as a, as a talisman, as a barometer. Yeah, look, we all know in tough situations, in the extremes of bull markets and bear markets, everything correlates to one. We, we're in one of those situations where everything's correlating to one. Everything's going down or everything's going up together. And you see it. Interest rates, equity markets, and oil markets are moving together. They should not be coupled. You're right. When oil goes down, it's really good for the consumer. It's good for the economy. So what breaks that cycle, if anything? Or do we not break it until we get more clarity on macroeconomics? The Fed becomes a bit more clear. ECB becomes a bit more clear. I, I think you're right. We need communication. We need clear communication. We need to understand what's going on. We will decouple. You know, markets correlate in times of, of stress, in lack of clarity, in confusion. This is a confused time in the market. But when the Chinese regulator, standing where you are, says to me today, yesterday, get used to more volatility, and we see five days of triple-digit moves, doesn't matter whether it's either direction, over the last week, um, is this something, what's driving that volatility? Get used to more volatility. This has been created by what we have done in the regulatory community to some extent. Remember, we in the last five years have spent an enormous amount of time regulating all of the global financial institutions to the point that we have all deleveraged our balance sheets. We have all been forced to be very conservative with what we do. We no longer can trade the way we used to trade. We used to feel at Goldman Sachs that it was our job to dampen volatility. When excessive selling came in, right. we were there to buy it. The, the, the flip side, when excessive buying came in there, we were there to sell it. We're not in a position to do that anymore. The capital, the capital structures don't allow you to take on that sort of risk anymore. Well, the rules don't allow us to take on that risk. Come and join me at the Waddy Wall. Okay. You, you, you see, you were watching. First of all, I was you, get, you, get a uh, you get a choice. Look at this. Uh, no, Jen. Does no. the color say something about me? Well, only if you want it to. Okay. Oh, look at him. Now that, that, that sent. It was wide blue. Is well, blue? red is completely out. Okay. We don't do anything with red. Black? Black is okay. Blue. Blue, blue's, blue's a little bit unique. All right. You, you get, this is your very worried. This is your not worried. And where would you like to go on the wall? <laughs> Is that a politically correct four? Yeah, that's a, it, it was a four. That was a good. That was a good.